Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to another episode of McCall Media TV Live. Um, I hope you can hear me okay today because I'm using a different technology in my sort of configuration and setup. As you can see, I'm not wearing my headphones anymore or my, my little mic. So um, hopefully this goes okay. But in today's video, I wanted to talk to you all about StreamYard's ability to have a video overlay. And I'm going to demonstrate what that is to you right now. Okay, so there you go. There was a quick little overlay. That was a 16 second clip that I put together yesterday because I wanted to kind of show a personal touch for my business and brand and obviously uh, give it a little bit of a feel factor. So a bit of a vlogging feel, I suppose, is the best way to explain that. And so that little video overlay took me uh, about three to four hours yesterday to actually put together. And it's only 16 seconds long. But I thought it might be quite interesting for you guys, especially if this isn't your world and creative technologies isn't something that you normally get involved in to actually kind of see behind the scenes as to what is involved with like making a little video overlay so that when you go and ask somebody out on the internet like Upwork or Fiverr to commission an overlay that's personal to your business or brand just so that you can use it in a similar sense to what I've done now whether that's a pre-recorded video as an intro or an outro you've got a little bit more understanding as to what is going on behind the scenes so I'm just going to share my other screen with you right now so I've got a couple of screens going on in fact I've got a three screen monitor system here in my house and um, what you are seeing right now is Premiere Pro on screen and this here this all these kind of fun, fancy colored boxes and this that and the other these are all of the different edited clips audio files graphics all the bits and bobs basically that makes up that 16 second clip and i just thought it might be quite handy for you guys to sort of realize just exactly what goes on behind the scenes so that's all i'm going to do today in today's video it's not really a tutorial it's not really a uh, you must do this or i must do that it's just really a kind of an eye opener to sort of show you behind the curtains as it were in the world of mccall media tv lives so uh, let's just quickly move along here. So what we've got down here, if you look, there are four rows. So starting from the bottom up, this, uh, let me just click off that so I can click them one at a time. This row at the bottom here, this is the background music. This is the audio that plays throughout the entire 16 second clips. Now, the reason I've done a 16 second intro is because most music is composed in uh, eight beats and bars. So it's either, you know, if you want to play some music nicely in the background to, to something, generally you're going to have to be working with an eight, 16 count, sort of turn around as it were. Now there are people that do things differently. You can make it a five or a, or a, I don't know, a 13 second intro. That isn't a problem. It's just that obviously the music won't coincide necessarily with the visuals because obviously music is, in, is generally set to the count of eight beats. Now I'm not a musician. I'm not that brilliant with music, but I know enough about music to know that generally when you are designing things like intros and the outros, you do need to work with sort of eight seconds sort of blocks as it were, which is why I have designed my entire intro to be a 16 second clip. Now I'm going to show it to you one more time and this time I want you to look at the colours involved in my intro so that I can explain to you about those as well. So here we go again. <laughs> Okay, so what you have just seen there, obviously, is the 16 second clip again in full. But what we're going to do now is just sort of break that down and show you what else is going on. So the second line up from the bottom, this one here. Now, I can't click on this quite so well because it's actually segmented into lots of different sections. As you see my mouse cursor clicking along, each of these are different frames or segmented files and uh, video clips that I've basically put together. And what I have done is I've actually turned up the volume pretty much to max so that you've got that clanking sound of the cutlery and the cups 
banging together as it were. So that's basically the actual audio that comes in the file itself. And then what we've got on the second and the top row is basically the video footage. Now, if I click off this again and click here, what you've got in this clip here, this is me walking down the stairs. This one's me picking up the cup. Then I have, oh, it's taking a second to catch up with me. There we go. I'm picking up the coffee. Um, I'm putting the coffee in the cup and so on and so on and so on. Now, what you've got going on here is um, essentially one and sort of one and a half type second gaps uh frames with regards to how the video footage is shown. Now, what I've actually had to do in order to speed the video bit up quite quickly and keep it inside the 16 seconds and also not obviously bore the pants off you guys watching me make a cup of coffee, but I wanted to do something to show you as an intro. If we click on this very first clip, what I've noticed is where I walked down the stairs originally, I'll see if it's going to play because I've got a lot of things going along on. Right. When I walk down the stairs in that first clip, I walk quite slowly. But when I have got this last clip, when I walk, oh, no, that's not the right one. It's this one. When I, let me just make sure I've got the right one. Yeah, there we go. When I walk back up, even though the frames are the same size, what I've done is I've actually speeded up and I look like I walk a lot quicker. So I've speeded up the frame there. So I just thought I would show you that as a little behind the scenes as well. So basically, you think Benny Hill show that obviously shows you my age. But when they speed up the clips and put funny music in it and people are running around like crazy little chickens, um, that's essentially the technique that's been used there. And I've used it in a couple of the frames just to be able to speed and condense the actual footage that I wanted in into a 16 second count. Now this very top layer, this is where things get a little bit funky on the visual effects because if you actually look through my video, it's basically, it starts off color. I'm just gonna, there you go, starts off color. And as I walk down the stairs, watch my feet, it actually changes to a black and white gray scale. And the reason I've done that is because when I get to the point where I'm picking up my uh, logo and things like that, let's have a look on the cup. There we go. I've managed to spot color the logo. And the reason I've done that is obviously because it's about my brand. It's about me vlogging. It's about me doing my daily lives. And I'm a girl that likes my coffee. What can I say? So I thought actually using my coffee cup makes it a little bit quirky, gives me a little bit of a brand presence. And actually, why don't I turn that color? So I've actually got a spot color. Now, believe it or not, in this particular frame, because this frame is actually static, as in the cup is not moving about, this was a real quick one to do. But in the cup where it's like walking up the stairs or the camera's moving, let me have a look, where are we? Da, 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 da. Walking up the stairs, I think it's this one here. Um, when I'm walking up the stairs, if you look carefully, there's actually quite a lot of color going on around that's not just the logo. And that's purely because I had to make a, uh, a sort of a customized shape as it were in order to circle my logo and as I'm walking up and down the stairs obviously my cup is moving about and I've had to try and get that mask overlay to follow my logo and then I'm not too bad it's one of those things that is a it's a little thing that you have to play with a little bit and I did you don't want to spend hours and hours so it's a bit of a rough rough approach around the edges but it gives you again a nice little feel factor for the logo and as i get into the last scene everything comes back into full color so i just thought i'd explain basically some of the skills that have gone into this because when you commission someone to do um an intro or no outro and you watch an eight stroke ten second end product what you don't realize is the time and effort that goes into the background behind the scenes to create a clip like this so we took i took rather i should say about an hour to film and it was about 20 little different clips i'm just going to see if i've got them open on the right hand side on the left hand side here uh, project intro let me have a look if it's going to show up um right so if you look over here these are all the clips now i've deleted some of them eight and nine are missing there but these are all the little different clips that i've basically had to film and then put together in the right order then basically cut up like you would do a collage with a pair of scissors put them into the right order speed them up a little bit to make them condensed into the 16 seconds and then i've had to do the sound effects the background music 
the grey overlay with the mask effects on my logo for the spot colours. And if you actually think about everything that I've just discussed there, we are talking about three to stroke four hours work. I think realistically it's about an hour's filming. Um, it took me about an hour to get the sequencing and the clips done. And then it took me quite a while to do the spot colours, especially on the cup when it was moving and that kind of thing. So um, it might not necessarily be a video today. Let me just bring myself back on the screen. So it's a little bit of a different style of a vlog or a video live for you today because I just thought it might be quite nice to see what goes on a little bit behind the scenes when you are a creative digital technological guru like myself because at the end of the day um you know it's really quick and easy to go and sort of just make that judgment and think oh god you know why are they charging me x amount of money to create a 16 second clip it's 16 seconds but actually know what you've got to bear in mind is that some of these things uh, that's quite simple if if I'm actually quite honest with you as well um if i really wanted to possess that up it probably would have been a day's effort and i could have done sort of cup sliding across a bit like a on a bar and it slowed down as i caught it and the coffee spilling and i could have got really crazy with my graphics and and so forth and i just i, I just wanted to put a little clip together to show you just exactly what goes in to some of the things that you guys not necessarily take for granted but you just don't realize the time and effort and energy that goes into making these little clips so i hope that's actually been quite interesting for you to see to see today i'm going to stop talking now i hope this has been an interesting one for you i'm live again tomorrow at 12 o'clock as always and um take care and if you do like this video subscribe stay notified uh follow me youtube's probably the easiest one to follow me on it's um sort of youtube.com forward slash c for channel and then forward slash mccall media tv so thank you very very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little behind the scenes on how i made my intro and i'm going to finish by playing it one more time